Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Tutorial. This time we are going to solve the search in third position problem. So given a sorted array and a target value, return the index if the target is found. If not, return the index where it would be if it were inserted in order. You may assume no duplicates in the array. So here are a few examples. Given array 1, 3, 5, 6, and we are looking for 5. 5 is in array, so we return the index of 5, that's 2. And if we are looking for 2, 2, two is not in array. 2 should be inserted before the 3, so we return the index 1. So if we are looking for 7, 7 should be inserted at the end of array, so we return 4. And uh, if we are looking for 0, 0 is not in array. 0 should be inserted at the beginning, so we return the index 0. So the most important uh, condition for this problem is this, this is a sorted array. So doing a search in a sorted array, we can think about the binary search because the binary search is a very efficient way to use um, just time complexity uh, log n to do the search. And the binary search can only applies to the sorted array. So here, uh, this is just a problem examples. So do, to solve use a binary search, we need to have some variables. So first is a start, and the second is an end, and also a mid. So they are all variable to indicate the index. So start index, end index, and mid index. So mid index is equals to start plus end minus start divide by 2 and uh, to use this way you get the mid index of a start and end uh, um, and position so usually people just wrote start plus n and uh, divide 2 to get the mid position so this uh, is correct in most cases but uh, sometimes you have a big number plus another big number and you will get an integer overflow. So to do this minus operation first, you get a smaller number and uh, you can avoid this uh, integer overflow problem. So I choose this way to get the mid position. So, so first I put the start at the beginning of the array and end at the end of this array. So mid also initialize. So to compare the mid position with the target value. So like here, we our target value is 5, and the current mid position is 3. So target is greater than the mid current mid position value. So that means the target value is at the right side, and we can get rid of the left side of the mid position. So we can update the start position to the mid side, and we keep doing the binary search. And vice versa, if the target value is less than the mid position, that means the target value is at the left side of mid position. We can get rid of the right side and move the end to the mid position. So to implement this, we have a, a while loop. So while start plus one, less than the end, and we can compare with the um, current mid position value with the target value. So if the current mid position just equals to the target, that means we are lucky and we can directly return the current mid index. And uh, if we are not that lucky and uh, like the mid value is different from the target. Like if the uh, current mid position is less than the target. So that means the target is at the right side of the mid position. So we need to update the start to the current mid position. And the vice versa. So here it just means that if the lumps mid position is greater than the target. That means uh, 
the the target is at the left side of the mid position, so we can update the end position to the current mid position. So keep doing this and get all, rid of the uh, the other part and just keep the part where it contains the target value and we keep doing the binary search. And the, notice here we have this condition. So start plus one is uh, this and the end. So having this condition, so when we finish this while loop, we will always have a two uh, two numbers in array that just contains a start position and uh, end position. Now here, if we are searching for seven, so we will when we finish this for loop, we will still have a two numbers, and this is a start one, and this is a end one. So compare with the target value. If the target value is greater than the end value, and we should return the end plus one. So the end plus one is a place we should put the uh, the target value to this array. And if the if our uh, uh, target value is less than the than the start position value. So we should uh, just uh, use a start. Like a, if uh, like uh, sometimes we have a target value that's a four three, and uh, compare with uh, the left uh, left number in this array, and uh, we should just return start to put it at the current start position. Return start, and if we have a number that's uh, greater than the start, and uh, less than the end, we should. Uh, return the end, we should return the end position to to insert that target value. So here, let's back to the problem. So I will demonstrate in coding in Java to solve this problem. So as we just said, we need to have some variable to indicate the index. First is a start value, and the second one is a is a uh, end so at the beginning start from the zero position and the end is from the end of the array so we will need to have a, a while loop so while start plus one next than the end as we just uh, said and we will have a mid position so this mid position is keep up updating um, as long as the start and the end goes so as we just said, we use this uh, formula to get the mid position. So we compare the current position, mid position, with the target. If we are lucky enough, we find the current mid position just is a target. We return the mid index. Else, if we are current uh, lumps mid position is greater than the target. That means the target is at the left side of the mid position. So we can get rid of the right side. So we update the end position to the current mid position. Else, that just uh, means here, lumps mid is less than the target. So less than the target so that uh, the target is at the right side of the mid position. So we can update the star to the mid position uh, so, so that we, we can keep doing the binary search. And remember, when we finish this for loop, because this condition, we will always have uh, two numbers left in the array. So we can compare with, uh, these two numbers with uh, the target value. So if the lumps n, is uh, still so smaller than the target, like a seven for this problem. So we should return the n plus one to uh, to insert this value. And um, if the num star start <coughs> is greater than the target, so if the target value 
is less or equal to the start position. So we should uh, uh, just insert this target value before the this start position. So just add this start position. So otherwise, this it just means that nums the the start is less than the target, and the target is uh, smaller than the current end position, and we can just uh, return the end. Okay, so we finish our implementation. So let's submit. Yeah, accepted. So beautiful. So we solve this problem. So I hope you learn the binary search from this problem. And uh, uh, so you can do an exercise and uh, to solve this uh, problem by yourself. So thank you for your watching. This is a good taker. So I welcome you to subscribe my channel and we keep uh, studying, studying together and keep making progress together. Okay, thank you for your watching.